Hello Aries, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your January 2023 minnow, mini tarot reading. Happy New Year and thanks so much for dropping by to see me. I so appreciate you. Let's see what's coming up this year. I know it's been a tough year in 2022 for a lot of us. But I have a feeling this year, it might start out a little slow, but I have a feeling this year is going to be much better. So let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you we go. Please remember this is a general reading and if you'd like one just about you, you can stop by my website www.soulstarbliss.com or reading is by Judy, J-U-D-I-E. You can book me there also and I've included those down below for you. Please remember to check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign because sometimes they connect better for you and give you more information. You never know. With that said, let's see what's coming for you. Oh my goodness. Those of you that are single, this really could be a year where you find the one, okay? Um, I don't know if it's going to be this month, but I have a feeling that love is going to be prominent for you, or it's heavy on your mind, or something similar to that. Also, I feel like there's going to be improvement in your money. I don't know if that means you get a raise, or you have a second job. I'm not sure. I really feel like it's you, you, you're going to get some kind of I don't know if it's back pay or a bonus or something that you've been waiting for, unsuspected, so you couldn't have been waiting for it. I just feel like there's going to be an improvement this month in your money uh, or your flow of money. Oh, manifesting. Okay, it looks like manifesting. Well, I, this is what I want. Okay, T saying, telling the universe, okay, this is what I want, but then saying, well, how come it's not here yet? It, Please remember everything comes in divine time. That's difficult. I know that. And I sometimes will ask for th something and catch myself thinking, how come it's not here? Oh, cancel Claire. As soon as I start thinking it, I try to get it out of, out of the mind. But it says there's things going on for you that you're not even aware of. I'm not sure what that means, but I feel really good about it. I feel like maybe at work there's going to be some promotion or there's going to be an opportunity for you that you didn't realize was there. Um, and it has, I'm pretty sure it has to do with work or some kind of, some kind, whether it's where you work now or an opportunity showing up for work of some kind. I have the uh, pregnancy card. Wow, that's, I think, the second or third time I've had that already today. If you want that, hallelujah, this is great. If you don't, you know what to do. I feel like some um, sadness from the past seems to pop up for some of you feel it has to do with family or loss of some kind and you know the worst thing we can do as humans is shove that down push it down push it down push it down because it's going to pop back up if you can and I hope you can my prayer for you that you can is sit with it you want to cry cry you want to kick the can kick the can you know whatever it is to deal with it um and it's going to come and go that's I just, I don't know who that's for, but it is going to come and go. So I feel it's grief almost, which pops up out of nowhere when you least expect it. And it, it, it continues for a lot of folks. So standing up for yourself this month is going to be a big deal for you in a good way. It's like you do it matter of factly, not attitude wise, <laughs> not like with an attitude. It's like, no, that's not working for me. I feel like some of you have been used or abused for being generous, specifically at work. You know, maybe there are so many people, so many companies are shorthanded. And I almost feel like, um, you know, like th that just really you, you've taken on more than you should have. And you're tired. And <laughs> they need to know that because, you know, when we're tired, we make mistakes. And then the, ironically, you, you give all this extra time and then you make a mistake and you get in trouble for it. I, I don't, I can't figure that out. That doesn't make sense to me. So those of you that are working really hard and you want to say no and stand up for yourself, I have a feeling that it's okay. And if not, maybe you should, <laughs> if they say, well, too bad, so sad, you still got to come in. It might be time to start looking for another job where you're appreciated because there's a lot of people hiring here around here anyway. Feel like things will fall into place for you? Seriously, it's like boom, boom, boom. Make a choice, things fall into place. Make make a move, they fall into place. I just feel the next three weeks for you, three weeks to three months, things that you decide to do are gonna come easy. They're gonna come really, whether that be moving, you know, uh, changing jobs, making a difference. Uh, something that you're gonna do different and it's just like, wow, this is easier than I thought it was gonna be. Again, relationships come up. Those of you that are having difficulty in your relationship right now, you know, look back. 
preparedness in reverse. How did I? How did we get to this place? You know, or, you know, have we not been paying attention to each other? There's been a lot of stress and, uh, you know, hard times for a lot of people last year. Don't let that ruin this year. Speak up. Have a talk. You know, sit down together if you can. It says, um, just because plans were foiled, and I hate using that word for last year, you know, now might be the time to make some new plans or revise the plans that you had and see how things can work. And again, that could be work. It could be moving. It could be love. I, it could be so many things. Just don't give up. Don't give your power away and say, okay, I'm done. I make plans. They never happen. That's not true. <laughs> I mean, you know, it might seem that they were foiled, and I, I don't know why I'm using that word today. Um, I just have a feeling this year is going to be different in that way. So don't give up on that. Remember, what we think about, we become. Ace of Cups says when our mind is filled with spirit, it fills our body to overflowing. What we think about, we become. So when things are really sad and, you know, really hard, it's really hard to pick yourself up. But please do that if you can, because there's definite change for you on the way. It says messages, messages, messages. You are going to be getting a lot of messages, and I feel they're real messages. Um, like it, from work, from your bank, from where, I mean, I don't know where they're coming from, but just don't ignore them. You're going to want to follow up with them. That's been prominent today too. You may have a lot of, there's going to be a lot of commotion around you, like at work, whatever it looks like. You could just use some quiet time to yourself. So try to get some time for that, whether it be to meditate or just be quiet and sit and enjoy, <laughs> you know, have your cup of coffee alone or tea or whatever it is. But it looks like you're having, um, like, it, it, you know, I can't take anymore. It's so noisy. That's that type of thing. When you get like that, you really do need to make yourself a priority and just get a little bit of time to yourself best you can. It says that journey that you're wanting to take, and I said journey, so I think it's a real trip, but it could be even just, you know, like um, a mental trip. It's going to be really good for you. If you do have anything legal, don't mess around. Take care of it right away because it's not going to go away. And that could be something to do with your taxes. It could be a speeding ticket. It could be I, whatever, something, problem with your bank. Take care of it because it's not going to go away. You know how sometimes you're like, ah, I'll just ignore that. I wouldn't ignore it if it has anything to do with legal or with money. Ace of Pentacles says new opportunities can certainly present themselves. And I keep getting love. Those of you that are single and have been single, I just feel like this could be a year of love for you. And this month specifically, you're going to have opportunities to meet people. Um, and I just feel like there's going to be a celebration, okay? Um, and don't let the past hinder your uh, choices for love for the future or for now. I feel like this could be a chariot, one who achieves greatness with new beginnings happening. And it says, if counsel is needed, whether it be a lawyer, a doctor, two friends talking, get it, get it. It says, wishes granted, I feel definitely change for the better in the love area for those of you that are single or haven't had any luck in that area. Maybe the right one hasn't shown up. But Spirit's got a plan for you, it looks like. Um, so you're going to be in the right place, right time. And also, if you are ready for love, and I, you know, I, I, I don't know how you're meeting people, but let your friends know, because I think you meet some, a lot of you, and then I said a lot of you are going to meet people because of somebody else. They're going to say, you know, I have someone I want to introduce you to. Go, or, or at least get introduced. You don't have to go, but I think it's going to make you happy. Something about it, because it might even be your friends first, then lovers. And sometimes that is the best thing that can happen to you. Um, you're going to... I keep getting right place, right time. So I feel like that's love area, but it could be something else too. Um, but with that said, if someone's trying to introduce you to someone, you're gonna say, oh, I don't want it, that never works out. Please, please, at least meet the person or talk to the person or something like that, because it could be really good for you. It's like your apprenticeship in this area is over. Maybe you've made poor choices in the past, but you're ready now to make a choice for maybe even a permanent relationship. And Aries, you deserve it. You are a hard worker and you're when you care, you care all the way. <laughs> With that said, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. If you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again next month.